Hey, I was going YouTube. Today I'd like to show you how to install and properly play Fallout 3 on Linux using Wine. And I have to say that the game's quite a mess, okay? So Wine, it's, it's capable to run the game, but you still have some problems. Let's say that Bethesda, they are not the most uh, known uh, game company to create great game, I mean great well-programmed game all right that's said let's start i already installed the game and uh, if you have an idea on how to use wine and how to install steam and how to install a single game using wine i'll leave a link in the description where you can check so where you can watch some uh, video tutorials and also i have uh, a blog on my uh, a post of my blog actually all right so let's launch the game there it is. To install now four components, let's say, so DirectX, VCRun, a game for Windows Live, I guess. And it will try to install .NET 3.0 right now, but it will fail, as you can see, because it detects a new version actually I have no idea how, because it's a clean prefix so I have no idea where it sees this new version but it's okay no big deal anyway because everything run out of the box now it's detecting my video hardware and everything is set for ultra high actually I'm going to change this to no wait as you can see I have no gallium 9 activate it so I'll go and activate it because now it will recheck my hardware as you can see the graphic card now it's different then you can click here uncheck show the resolution because you probably need just 1080p and then I like to play a high you know no big deal ultra or I don't need ultra. All right, so there is this thing here which doesn't work. Checked or unchecked, it doesn't make any change. It's it's kept at 60, but it, you can modify a config file. It's quite easy, so I'll show you later. Then we can start a game and I will show you the first and the only problem actually the in-game problem that it needed uh, a wine trick. All right, so as you can hear, there is no music now. Okay, but it should be uh, a soundtrack in here, the menu, the menu music. And also in-game, okay, can continue. Okay, if I open, the radio, as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Works just for one second and then it stops. And now I will Alt Tab outside of the game. And as you can see here, there is some error with quartz. Okay. And if I enter the game now it crashes. So if you want to Alt Tab, it may not work. And by the way, as you can see, I have no VSync. I'll show you later how to uh, how to select VSync or not. So let's close this and let's run the the two wine tricks that I need. Actually, I have no idea for quartz if if quartz is the problem. It if it solves the the audio issues. Yeah, you know, maybe I will try before. Yeah, because actually before I did a test and uh, this L3 codex right here, this is fixed the audio issues, but then I still had the, the, the quartz arrow on my terminal. So I'm not sure that it, if it quartz contains already this file, you know, I'll just try to, where is it? Quartz. I will install quartz right now. 
and C. Okay, quartz is installed. Okay, but this is this is not installed. So we'll try it right now to launch the game and see if if something changes. Yeah. All right. As you can see, I have a. Uh, you can see some. You can hear some music right now. All right, fine. I'll try the radio. Okay, I guess it doesn't run. So let me quit. Exit the game. And let's install the other one, which is L3 codec. If I'm not wrong. No. Codex. All right. Yeah, L3 codec X. All right. That's it. Okay, got installed. So let me try now with the radio. We have our menu music. And by the way, by the way, there is also uh, in-game music, like in-game uh, soundtrack sometimes that is not going to play if you don't do those one, one tricks. Let me try the radio now. Yeah, now it runs fine. Okay, perfect. As you can see, the game runs perfectly without vsync. I already posted a video, you can check it. Oh, there is also the gallium HUD. No problems at all. This was the only problem. Everything else should work without any issues. It, I think the game works better than on Windows. Also, you can... Oh, I, I was lucky, super lucky. To burn them all. And yeah, as I said, if you go on the Steam discussions, you can see a lot of people raging for the game running on Windows 10. But as you can see, you can play on Linux without any issues. You can play natively with Gallium 9. No problem at all. Bitch. Okay, this is a big one. Holy shit! My weapon is broken, what the fuck? Alright, anyway. <laughs> Let me quit. So I'll show you how to actually fix V-Sync. It's no big deal. You have to open... Where is it? Okay, here, vertical sync. By the way, I'm... I'm using PC Gaming Wiki to check all the fixes here and there. It's a great website and it's also very Linux friendly, as you can see. Here it redirects uh, to the Wine HQ. So if a game has a Wine HQ entry, the app database, you should find it, it also. You should find the link also on PC Gaming Wiki. So thumbs up for PC Gaming Wiki to be so Linux and Wine friendly. Alright then, this thing, the toggle in, a, in launcher is broken, so we have to go here, 
and open I'm using mouse pad okay because uh, it's quite a big file so I need to search for a for a term so documents my games fallout fallout dot any then you want to press ctrl F and looking for a, f a line called prevent nope no actually not pre present interval okay so I present there it is present interval it should be one in here so if you want vsync equals one if you do not want vsync equals zero okay now it's zero and as you can as you saw in the game I had no vsync okay this is the first thing then there is another problem is that the game crashes a lot out of the box it crashes really a lot I mean it freezes and it just crashes. It's, it's quite a messy game as I said but there is a fix and the fix is quite it's quite easy nothing crazy also you need to modify the the config file so it's actually this uh, line here or this entry here game crashes randomly so open the file which is already open and then uh, look for a line called be used threaded AI be use threaded AI okay and you want to set it to 1 first and then you want to add this line okay i num hw threads so no, the number of hardware threads you want to set it to actually pc gaming wiki set says two and i i use it also too but you you can play with this you you can play and you you can try four or one if you have problems but anyway after you you modify these two lines it runs better it crashes way way less because really it crashes like crazy like you play half an hour and then the game crashes like without uh, I mean just crashes like crazy I think because it was uh, programmed by Bethesda for a uh, for a uh, older hardware okay and that's basically it that's everything you need to know. I'll leave a link in the description also for PC Gaming Wiki. And as you just saw, and I, as I said, I have already posted another video on YouTube. The game runs perfectly. No big deal at all. Just those three fixes. By the way, I'll tell you again. You need to do Wine Tricks, Quartz, and L3 Codex. Codec, codec X. Then, if you want VSync or not, modify the line in the config file. And if you want uh, to prevent the crashes, just add those two. Or modify a line and then add another one. All right, that's it. Hope it was helpful. The game is great. It runs great. So just try it on Linux using Wine. And if you have AMD. Just use Gallium 9, which is absolutely fantastic. 100 FPS without problems, always, no drops or whatever. All right, hope it was helpful. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye.